So I'm starting off with my Painterly Paint Bat from MAC and my Sigma E60 Flat Shader Brush. And this is just going to be going all over my eyes as it does in every single one of my videos. It's going to clear away any discolorations and help the shadows to stay on longer. I'm taking my MAC Vanilla Pigment again with the shader brush and that's going to be going all over my lid. From my Shiny Cosmetics palette, I'm taking this Lilac Purple and I'm using that on a MAC 217 blending brush. And I'm going to be putting this right into my crease and blending out the MAC Vanilla Pigment. using very very light windshield wiper motions to go back and forth concentrating it right in this little arch area in my crease Taking my MAC 219 pencil brush and using this deeper purple, I'm almost going to be cutting the crease, not exactly as precise as a cut crease, but it is going to go into that area. So really slowly, I'm just going to kind of not close my eye all the way. When you want to find exactly where your crease is, you should kind of just look straight forward. And wherever that hollow is in your eye, that's what you should kind of trace. Now I'm just tracing it with this color. And drawing that in. Now I'm taking the blending brush that we just used, the MAC 217, with no additional product. I'm just kind of blending that away. Now I'm taking that light purple again on the same brush and blending that out and upwards. I'm taking this shimmery lilac shade and I'm using my Sigma shader brush for that. This is just going to be going towards the outer part of the eye, just packing that on not bringing it in more than halfway, not even that much. Now just with my blending brush, blend those edges. And I like using all different shades of purple because it really gives it more dimension. So from the BH Cosmetics Hollywood palette, on this side I'm gonna use this deep navy blue to deepen the outer corners over here and I'm gonna be using that with the MAC 219 pencil brush. To create a sharp edge, I'm just gonna be using my eyelash glue and connecting the bottom lash to where my eyebrow ends and I'm just going to be filling in that area. Just to deepen it up. Now since this is a little more blue than I had anticipated, um, it's definitely way too blue, so I thought it was going to be more of a navy blue. That's okay. I'm going to be taking a black shadow, and I'm using the one from the Shiny Cosmetics palette with the same pencil brush. And drawing that line, and then just going right over that. And again, blending that out with a blending brush.
Now I'm actually going to take the blending brush and the same black shade that we just used and deepen up that outer part even more. And kind of take this black inward a bit. see the silver on the lid definitely got blended away from all the dark colors so I'm gonna go back in with the MAC pigment with the same shader brush and just enhance that a bit now taking that light purple shade from the Sephora palette I'm just kind of putting that right on my finger and then I'm going to dab that right between where the black is and the silver pigment. Okay, I wasn't filming as usual. I hate when this happens. I already did half of one eye, but I'll go back into it. I'm using the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner with the Sigma E05 Pencil Eyeliner Brush thingy. <laughs> and I'm just going to be doing a little more of a dramatic wing. And now, since we used that sharp edge earlier to kind of trace out that darker eyeshadow, it's really easy to now kind of see where your wing is going to go and the shape that you should put it in because we now have that guideline from that sharp edge. So that's a really good trick if you are having trouble with your eyeliner. So for underneath the eyes, I'm using this darker purple right here with my pencil brush. And I'm just placing that right underneath. this really like brighter purple this deeper bright purple really makes the eye look pop completely and then I'm just blending that out with a clean blending brush just so it looks really sultry and smoky and not really harsh and then using the benefit there real mascara on the false lashes as well as my bottom lash line so now that the eyes are pretty much done, I'm moving on to my face. I already applied my CoverGirl True Blend in the shade M5. And now for concealer, I'm using the MAC Pro Long, Pro Long Wear Concealer in NW20 along with my Sigma Tapered Kabuki. If you haven't entered my giveaway yet, I suggest you do. I'm giving away the Pro Long Wear Concealer as well as this Sigma brush. So tomorrow is the last day for that, so I suggest you guys hurry it up. I will link that video down below so you can follow all the rules and enter. So now I'm setting that concealer with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffuse Light, and I'm using the same tapered brush. I'm using this CoverGirl powder and I'm using a Sigma brush for that. I'm placing that right into the contour lines and I'm also kind of just blending it upward so it's not harsh and it also bronzes as well as contouring. For blush I'm using a Wet n Wild blush with my Sigma blush brush and just taking that. There that goes this towards the apple of my cheek and blending up it's very pigmented I've never used a wet n wild blush before this is the first one I got at Rite Aid there are all the wet n wild products are 40% off ah! so I got a whole bunch of stuff and since that is extremely pigmented I'm taking a stippling brush from Mac and just blending that a bit more so the color isn't too harsh Okay, so for my lips, I use NYX Lip Liner in Prune, Myth Lipstick from MAC, and also a MAC Lip Glass. This is in Underage. 